Sit. Down. Now you see why he goes in charge. He's the one that can follow the most directions. Y'all, y'all see him try and smooth walk the hell off, <laughs> like like nobody was talking to him. <laughs> now he's peeing. <laughs> you look and said, "Look, buddy." That joker try and said, "Damn, I'm gonna go on over here, buddy. I'll come back in a little while, <laughs> maybe." That was beautiful. I love mishaps because it wasn't a mishap. That's why you bring Tron out. He never disappoints you, especially when he's being less than. Now he saw the same tree that I saw. He saw the same tree Ego saw. Ego, what I love about this is he's more motivated now because he wants to compete. I couldn't get him to focus two seconds ago. I got him a little bit. Y'all saw in the last video. But you go, oh, he's really like, nah, bro. He ain't about to outdo me. <laughs> ain't that right? So, Tron, sit. <laughs> Down. Look at this. You see this right here? And hey, y'all want to know why I won't breathe Tron. <laughs> you know, I will tell you this, people. The patience that we have is what keeps us ahead of our curve. The American bully, unfortunately, has been a breed that most people have gotten excited about and fell into because of how it makes them feel. The challenges in this life is how much better can we make the dog? And can you better the breed? Now we know, regardless of what people say, that's just not the case a lot of times, unfortunately. In our case, because I know what we're up against, it only matters that we better the breed, which means we are responsible for putting out good dogs, and a good dog ain't what you want, it's what's needed. And is it a dog that can listen? Is it a dog that can pay attention? Is it a dog that's going to be safe in people's homes? Is it a dog that people, I mean, if we're just being honest, like to look at? In this case, yes. Tron, as you see, is super distracted. Imagine someone contacted me about Tron being distracted or a puppy they had being distracted. And them going, hmm, Ego, come here. Don't come back now, bro. Good boy. Good boy. And I'm okay with that, people. I'm okay with that, because he came, and then he stopped, he paused. I didn't give him any more commands. I didn't tell him to sit. I didn't tell him to stay. I didn't tell him to die. I, I just called his name, and he came. Those are little small wins, believe it or not. And in that small win, I said, okay, he's getting better, but he also is getting more aware of Tron potentially. I don't want to say coming up the ranks, but he says, bro, you're never going to outdo me. Eagle things just like me. It's like, okay, good luck, buddy. <laughs> good luck. Now, Tron can jump higher. He can run faster, but Eagle's more strategic. He's got more mass, so he's a thinker. Even though Tron weighs more. <laughs> that being said, people, we're going to let them play. I know what it's like to have two dogs in the home who don't get along. I've been there before. I'll be very clear in telling you, I got rid of them. <laughs> One of them had to go. Because once your home becomes a place of discomfort, you no longer have peace. Not in your home, and I'm not going to have peace in a place where I have to take care of these dogs every day. Or, or, or not have peace, to say the least. So, if you have two dogs that you're working on, working with, and working through, as far as behaviors, the beauty about it is, is Tron is a beta. He also is not an alpha, which is a beta. He's not, a, he's not even a, a beta alpha, he's just a beta. <laughs> so, you say, huh, he's hard-headed, he don't listen, he thinks he knows everything, but he's dumb. Ego at least is smart, so you double down. I want his intelligence, I want his character, I want his poise. I want, I want the nature of his being. I want the dog to be a thinker. I know how some of you feel about the Merle. We, we acquired the Merle gene for the purposes of education. I would be, rem as see, I say, I would be remiss if I didn't say that it is a good looking thing, to say the least. I like, the, I like how it looks, but I ain't trying to duplicate a bunch of Merles in the world either. And at the end of the day, there are tons of breeds who have it. And for those purists, when it comes to the American Bully, it's a 20-year-old dog, man. 
It ain't it's no such thing as a pure American bully. And, and if it is, uh, let's talk about the bulldog in there. Let's talk about the health concerns. Let's tr let's talk about the, the bullies now that don't make it past five and eight. Let's talk about the exotic people who don't. Look, stop stop pretending like there's so much integrity in this breed and it ain't. That is not what this breed was. It wasn't based on integrity. There are people in the AKC in breeds that were created for the purposes of work, which means it had to be rooted in integrity because if the dog could not perform or do something, then it we will, they'll put it down. And even back in the day with the Mr. Famous Pit Bull, if a dog showed any signs of bitchism, and we're talking six weeks old putting food down and people seeing which dog backed up on some food when the other pups are eating, they'd kill it right there and bury it in the backyard. Those days are over. But I will tell you is, is there is no pure American bully to be clear. What we do have, if we're being honest, are some pure fucking problems. And I'm getting the messages. And when we see the pit bull, we see other breeds making this breed and other breeds even look bad. It don't help. Why? Because as long as you backyard breeding, as long as you're uneducated, as long as you can't read a pedigree, as long as you think you're going to get rich doing this, there's always going to be problems. The only thing more expensive than education is ignorance. Guys, take care of your dogs.